a man, a woman, a medical school. Prepare to set your limbic system to stun as this musical, <laughs> fresh off its world record short half show run on Broadway, belongs into the room like that ship in Speed 2 cruise control. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you medical school. Turn off the dark. <laughs>
Okay. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. I am Dr. Sobek. <laughs> and today we will be learning about um uh, <laughs> oh, signaling recombination, <laughs> extracellular matrix, and dead hippos. So, <laughs> I know, I know. I know that this stuff can be kind of confusing the first time. But I will take it slow. Do not worry. And if you have any questions, just raise your hand. I will answer. <laughs> Pretty <Finish>, Joel. <laughs> it's Sometimes it breaks and it needs to be fixed by recombination, which means ends of your DNA can splice together, not homologously. But you need bases which can come from cancer of genes regulatory. There is another option which necessitates adoption if the cell is in the process of replicating genes. Using double holly junction to the replicated function allow gene recombination to occur. Homologously. Now let's talk for a minute about the pathway with which signals proliferation. Keeping a protein called beta catenin from ubiquitin realization. When it binds to loops, binds to the shovel, which inactivates GSK. The beta catenin activates transcription by complexing with DNA. It is worth a mention that catenin has a pension for working with cat here in the dead zone protein. Without its contribution, death zones would have no fusion. Leading stratum spinios and without its spiny sheet. In review to recombinate, you are too much to the Because toxins that block us turn stop gradient return and can bring down a <laughs> Alright, any questions? No? You guys don't need all this stuff. <laughs> She had made it and 
got the seven years to do it. And so can you.
Lord.